tread lightly here. Google has a tendency to blow through your budget. So watch it when you're first starting these cold audiences. This is why we want to start you with warm. Hey, this is Keith Krantz again. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the YouTube ad campaign structure. So uh, how to properly structure your YouTube ad campaign inside Google ads. So let's get right into it. All right, so the structure is going to look like this. It's going to look very similar to, to Facebook, actually. And of course, like I always mention, uh, everything is changing so fast. And there's also different ways that you can, there's different strategies that you can use to achieve the same result. The key is to really understanding and getting, getting a deep understanding of the algorithm and the different ways to do things so you can test different styles, different structures and stuff like that. I'm going to give you the standard that we recommend out of the gates and then you can go and get fancy later. So it's going to look like this similar. So inside the Google, so inside Google ads, which I'll show you here in just a second, you're going to create a new campaign and optimize either on sales or on leads. That's going to be your goal. Typically, if you're trying to optimize on purchases or maybe webinar registrations, that's what we're going to recommend starting out on. And so your campaign is going to be based on your offer or the promotion that you are running right now. So maybe we have an everlasting ad challenge, and then we might have another campaign for a lead magnet or a webinar or something like that. Okay. And then you can down the road, you can, you can have more campaigns where you're testing different goals. So I might have a challenge campaign that's using sales as the optimization. I might have another challenge campaign that's using leads as the optimization. So there's, that's, that's one of the ways to scale and test down the road. But initially we want to keep it simple. One campaign based around the promotion or offer. Uh, you're also, that's where your objective is chosen. And then you're also going to control your budget at the campaign level. YouTube or Google, because you're running ads in the Google ads, you don't have the option to segment your budgeting at the ad group level like you do on Facebook. Facebook right now, you you, say, you can either say, hey, I want to use ad set optimization and set my budgets. You know, I want to do $50 a day here, $20 a day here, 10 here, 30 here. You can do that on Facebook. Or on Facebook, you can say, hey, I just want to set my budget at the campaign. I want to do $100 a day here, and Facebook will decide how they uh, disseminate that ad spend. Google, you don't have a choice. It's at the campaign level. Okay. Audience or at the ad group level, which is basically the same thing as an ad set with Facebook, uh, this is your audience buckets. Now, you might have a remarketing audience. So the, the reason why these are capitalized is because that's what they look like in Google. So let's look at Google. Let's say we're going to create a new campaign here. So let's say we're going to optimize on sales. And we're going to do a video campaign here. Like I said, you're going to either use leads or sales. Uh, sometimes we might start out and you, you could test doing it this way as well and see how it goes. Uh, but especially if it's a retargeting campaign, if it's, if it's a retargeting campaign and it's a small audience, it really doesn't matter which one you use here. Same thing with Facebook. Uh, but when you start to go out to lot broader, colder audiences, it's going to be imperative that you use sales or leads if you can't optimize on sales. So... As you see down here, you got your campaign, uh, bidding strategy, budget, uh, and then down here, networks, languages, locations, inventory type, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then we have your ad group. See this? This is your ad group, and that's where you get into your targeting, demographics, audiences, keywords, topics, placements. And then you get into your ad, okay? Just like Facebook. So you got campaign, all this stuff up here, bidding strategy, budget, and then the basic networks and languages and stuff. Okay. And then this is all just, we'll, we'll walk you through this in, in, in a second here, but campaign level, ad group level is just basically your targeting, your audiences. And at the ad level, that's your creative. That's your, your video in this case. And if it's a, a another Google ad, then it, uh, it's, if it's another Google ad campaign, that's not video, then that might be your display, your banner. Okay. So, the the main kind of groups that you're going to want to create are number one is remark sorry the reason i wanted to show that too is see how these are capitalized audiences placements keywords combination there 
So those are some of the op options that you have inside Facebook. So you have audiences here, see that? You have demographics. You have keywords. And then you have topics, which is really broad, and then placements. That is the same thing as going into Facebook. And at the ad set level here on Facebook, we have custom audiences. So we don't have that on Google, but that's on Google, that's going to be similar to audiences. Okay. Boop. Let's go back up to that. So we've got audiences. And if I go to browse, I can say, um, how they have interacted with your business, remarketing and similar audiences. So that is the same thing as custom audiences on Facebook. That's like this one here. And then lookalike audiences, you got that's custom audiences here. Lookalike audiences are cold audiences based off your customers. You can do that on Google. That's what they call a customer match. Um, but the problem is, is you have to have 50,000 in ad spend and a good standing with Google and stuff to even be able to upload your list, which is really frustrating. I don't know why they... They, that's a lot, but either way, uh, you can also create audiences based off, you, you know, uh, similar to people that visit certain websites or search certain keywords and stuff, but that's, that's, and then you have, that's the, uh, audiences there very similar. And then you have the, uh, demographic data here and on, on Google, you have demographics right here, Facebook detailed targeting. This is your interest targeting. I want to target. Uh, Tony Robbins, I can do that right there. Ryan Dice or Frank Kern or Fish and Lockyani or something. Okay, and then you have your connection targeting. And so those are the different groups and you can overlay connection targeting with detail or I can overlay an interest with a lookalike. I can overlay my demographics with, with any targeting that I do. That's the same way it works in Google. So there, except that theirs are just slightly different. You have your demographics here. Your audiences in, in Google are the ones that we're going to focus mostly on. Of course, this is your remarketing. So if you go back to my, that's your remarketing there. And then you might have one or two ads initially. Maybe you have one video ad and that's all you have and that's okay. Maybe you have one video with two or three different intros. That would be awesome. Maybe you have uh, three different, totally different videos. You can do that. But similar, we're going we're gonna to have like three to four per ad group so YouTube can do their thing and they can really start to optimize. Placements. So placements is confusing because on Facebook, placements are desktop, uh, mobile, or news feed or right column. It's where they put the ad. And so on YouTube, placement is YouTube video URLs. That's, that's all it is. So if you go up to, if you go down to placements here, this is, YouTube channels, YouTube videos, and I go through all these, how to find these and, and search for these on uh, in the earlier module, okay? And if you're watching this somewhere else for some reason, then uh, you might have to find another video there, go through one of our high-level trainings, okay? But these are, a lot of times, one of the first cold campaigns we do are YouTube channels and YouTube videos. And... That's why if you look in the way these are ordered, these are really ordered in, in the way that you want to start. Start with warm, then you work your way out to placements, then keywords, then combinations. And the reason I don't have topics on here, topics should be another one, right? But topics is super broad. It's essentially the content network here. It's select topics that show ads on content about specific subjects. So this is just like, hey, a website about vehicles or beauty and fitness. And it's the content network that is basically all the, the news websites or whatever websites that your customers are, are interested in. But this is, this is where you want to get when you know you have a high converting offer. You've got a great creative that's working on, on Warm. You're generating some conversions and you're, the algorithm is getting smarter now. Because you don't want to just start in here because it's, it doesn't have enough data. You need to get conversions first with tighter audiences so it can go wider. Um, but you can use topics if you want to overlay a little bit here with the combination ones. But like I said, so we start with remarketing, then it's YouTube uh, channels and videos. Channels are going to be better because it's 
you have more you, you really run out you, you can't scale the youtube channels and, and, and videos very well because there's just videos burn out after a little while you know and there's a lot of different reasons why but you'll see once you get in there and do it and then you have keywords okay this is actually called custom affinities so but we'll call them keywords because that's pe where people are actually searching and they can be a little bit confusing because uh facebook You'd think this would be keywords, but this actually isn't really keywords. This is more like interests. This is this is where you have to be really pay close attention right here. Choose terms related to your product or services to target relevant content. So this is like you, you put keywords in there and it's going to try to find like you can use a website. Uh, you can put in digitalmarker.com or something. The problem is you'll see the audience. The audience will be like 500 million people or a billion. Let's just put www.digitalmarketer.com and it, you'll see these audiences over here that'll be super big. I'm not going to go too deep and too much into that right now for this video. We want to keep moving here. But the point is this is really broad, okay? What we really want to do is go find custom intent. And that's going to be in your audiences here. So in audiences, we go to browse and then we go right here. What they are actively researching or planning. So actively researching, searching. So this is search keywords, not just generic topical interest keywords. This is what they are actively searching. So if I click this, you have custom intent in market audiences or life events. All right, and we're going to start with really the keywords, and I'll show you that one, and that's this one, custom intent. Check it out. Use keywords to create an audience based on products and services your ideal audience is actively researching. So it's so frustrating that this is so confusing, but this right here is the real keyword. When people talk about you're able to use now, this is fairly new. This is only within the last couple of years where you can actually target people on YouTube based on something they searched in the last couple of weeks. So if they were on Google, let's say your customer, potential customer was on Google last week searching for how to uh, improve their immunity, right? How to improve your immune system. And you have a product that helps people boost their immunity. You can now put your video. They were Last week, they were searching about how to improve their immune system. And then today they're watching a cat video or a video on, on ESPN or a movie or something like that. And your ad can play at the beginning of that video based on what they were searching. This is where you do that. It's still though, it's still, you know, you got to go with the tread lightly here. Be careful. Don't, don't like Google has a tendency to blow through your budget. So watch it when you're first starting these cold audiences. This is why we want to start you with warm and, and with placements, you're going to be usually okay too, not going too broad. But if you start some of these other topical and, and some of these other interests and in, in the actual keyword one that they call it here, that you might, sometimes I've seen it where you have a hundred dollar budget and they spend a thousand dollars for some weird reason. So you have to be careful there. Um, that's why I have keywords here as this one, this next one, and then combinations. Okay. And I'll show you a couple examples of what you can do there. So then same thing, like I said, I explained the ads. The ads are your videos. Boom. So with your audiences, like I said, you've got demographics. That's the age, gender, parental, parent, parental status, household income. Placements, that's YouTube videos and YouTube channels. Audiences, you've got remarketing, warm audiences, custom intent, which is the real keywords, broad interests, which is affinity and custom affinity, which is right here. So right here, broad interests. And this is where you can put in the, um, um, but just those can be a little dicey as well, okay? Inter interacted with your businesses and then combined audiences. This is where we wanna combine uh, and do some overlays, okay? So we have remarketing, custom intent, broad interests, aff affinity, custom affinity, and also the keyword one I showed you. And then even though that wasn't part of audiences, but um, combinations, you might do income plus keywords in one audience. You might do keywords plus topics, really broad with topics and then, you know, more intent based with keywords. You could do income 
plus keywords plus topics. Or you could do income plus placements. Placements isn't really scalable, but uh, income, you narrow it down a little bit. Right? You could do you could do placements and topics if you wanted. You could do lots of things. But we recommend doing this uh, right out of the gate when you start to do cold audiences on YouTube. Opposed to on Facebook, I don't recommend trying to layer on lookalike audience, audiences with interest audiences. It usually doesn't work as well on Facebook. Uh, so that that's just from three hundred million dollars of ad experience and you know hundreds of industries, but. But uh, it doesn't mean it won't work for you if you find the right combination on Facebook as well. That's why we want you to learn the principles here, have good guidelines and rules to start with, but then experiment on your own and let the data tell you if it worked or not. So then the topics is the real broad. It's the content network. And I don't recommend starting there at all, focusing on those four I talked about that I showed in this right here. Remarketing, get data, you get more data with placements, then, you know, and keywords, and then really hit these combination groups. And you might find that you go remarketing here, and then you go right from this one to combination. And that's a great way as well. So that's the structure uh, of, an, of a campaign. That's, that, those are all the most important elements. And uh, it's not as complex as, as it feels, right? Once you get your tracking set up and all that stuff that we have in our other, other trainings, then uh, and you get the right creative of course everything depends on the creative if you don't get the creative right none of this matters everybody gets so excited about adwords and targeting and all this stuff it's all about the creative okay that's why the everlasting ad method is so powerful you go through that uh, if you've gone through the challenge uh, if it's been a while go through it again uh, if you need some help make sure you get some help from my team and we can help you refine that message and really take it take it to the next level all right that's it for this training we will see you on the next lesson